What's up, guys? This is Los Angeles Refuse. Uh, a couple days ago on my Instagram, I had a Q&A. And one of the questions I got was when I will do another card update. Uh, so I made a poll asking everybody if they want to see a card update. And everybody said yes. So I'm here today to show you guys what I have in my collection as of December 2022. Uh, I mostly have LA City stuff. As you can see, it's mostly LA stuff. Uh, I do have a couple of non-city cans, but the majority of my containers are city cans. Uh, also, please excuse some of the cans. Some of them are pretty uh, dirty, covered in cobwebs. That's because they were in storage for a while under tarps. I'm not really using them as much anymore. So they're mostly just sitting in tarps in the back. So first off right here, I have a uh, 90 a Green Auto Classic with the bib on front. These are pretty rare for LA, you don't really see these too often. You mostly see these in blue. Uh, it's missing two pins right here for the lid, but it doesn't affect the way the lid at all. It's full of water because it was in the back, stacked. Very nice can, no cracks anywhere. The logos are still pretty nice. The wheels have gotten some pretty good use. Next we got a black one. It's actually a newer style of the classic. As you can see, side by side. This one right there is a little bit like higher. I'm not sure if it's uh, the, the, way, the way, way it was made or what. But I believe this is a 1994. And this is a 1999. Both really nice cans. Actually, this is a really clean one too. As you can tell, there's no cracks at all. Writing still intact on the lid. It has that still. Pretty rare cans for LA. Both of them. Not very common at all. I've, ever, I've only seen like a handful of these in my filming days. And then right here, I got a 60 gallon. It's uh, pretty much brand new, actually. It doesn't have any marks anywhere. And if it does, they're very faint. It's uh, one of my favorites. Very rare to see one in this condition. I believe this is a... Could be a 96. But it's very, very nice. I don't believe it's been collected before. And I plan to keep it that way. And then there's a chicken right there. Minding her own business, admiring my carts. Riding on the lid still intact. Has a small crack right here. I'm not sure from where. Right here too. And then right here I have the uh, black one. Very nice too. Same thing. I don't think it's been collected before in its life. And certain angles in light. You can see right here there's some marks from I think when it was made. When it was uh, some sort of suction marks. They're both on both sides of the, of the barcode. This one's very clean too. Nice sticker. It's clean on the inside. Uh, I got this. I got this one and this that one together. They were from OfferUp. Some lady was selling both for like ten bucks, along with the uh, ninety blue rare universal, which was also brand new. But I did not keep that one. I gave it to my aunt. She needed a new recycle can, so I gave her that one. And right here, you got a 60 Blue Auto uh, from, I believe, 1996. It's very nice. It's the 31st one made. This barco is irre irrelevant. It's from a Rari. Unrelated. Uh, and if you guys remember my video, collection video, lid actually broke. So the twins actually were able to fix it by melting the plastic back together. And actually, it's been it's held up pretty nicely, actually. Uh, hasn't been uh, broken again so big thanks to them for repairing it for me very nice can too it's been used up pretty good though unlike those that are pretty much brand new it's been collected by a mini probably its whole life but it's still a really nice can very rare 
for the city of LA. And then right here, you got the 90 gallon version. Also very nice shape. Um, most of them don't have this auto um, logo on the front, but this one does. Uh, I like it because of that. Very nice logos. No smearing at all. It has all that writing on the back. And it has that right there. Very clean, no cracks anywhere. One of my favorite stickers. And that's still intact. Very clean on the inside. And then right here we got a 90 gallon uh, black auto with the one line logo. I say one line because it only has this. These ones have the phone number on the bottom. But these are the older ones and they never had the phone number on the front. This is one of my personal favorites. Uh, very rare can too. Big thanks to Gilbert for getting this for me. Uh, it's in very nice shape. I mean, it has a couple cracks. Right there and right there. Uh, and right there. The wheels are broken too. But a very rare can and I don't plan to use it anymore for collections so it shouldn't break more it's one of my personal favorites when I first got it I couldn't stop looking at it I really like this can a lot and I'm still looking for a uh, green one in the same condition or even better but very nice can very rare as well and then right here I have a uh, 2002 Universal Rarig 60 gallons. It's a very nice shape too. As you can see all the writing still intact on the lid. It has a sticker on the inside still. Very clean. It was made in January 2002. So it's in pretty nice shape for being almost 21 years old. And it has these kind of wheels. Spoky ones. Logos are very nice. It has a barcode too. This is O2. One of my favorites. I had one of these growing up. So I'm happy to have another one again. And then here we have an older one. The same kind of can. Uh, I think this is a 1999. But I don't think it's ever been collected. Or if it has, very few times. Because there's not many marks on it. It's very nice. It has these kind of wheels, which are also in the newer cans that they're giving out now. The little logos, very nice, still very intact on the lid as well. Somewhat clean. And this one doesn't have a, it just says R6B. It's an older one. That one actually has a full barcode. So very nice cans. I really like them. I'm going to keep them that way. Probably won't see much use anymore. Unless I have to, absolutely have to use them. But I don't plan to. But next we got a brown zarn. From LA. I believe these are used for, I believe these are used for uh, city facility recycling. It could use some work. As you can tell. It's missing a lid. And these needs new hinges. I'll get around to replacing it eventually, getting a lid for it. But still a very nice can, very rare to have. Uh, I'm happy with it. Big thanks to Gilbert for getting this for me as well. He is a South LA Refuse. Uh, this is my only Zarn I have left actually. I still have a couple Zarns. I'll give them all away. So this is the only one I have left. But also my rarest one. Uh, right here we got a, a 90 gallon uh, Universal Rarig, also in very nice shape, as you can tell, very clean. Uh, has some marks right there, but the sticker is pretty much still intact, with all the nice writing on it. And the writing right there on the lid. There's some parts for the lids, parts that go right here, a couple extra ones I have. But it's a very nice can. I really like this can. I saw them growing up as well. So having one again is nice to have. It has those kind of wheels as well. Right here is another one of my personal favorites. I 
had one of these in the original rollout from 90, 91 and 92. It's a black uh, auto classic 60. Bibless on the front. Auto on the front is in perfect shape. I, I love this can a lot. Like I said, I had one grow and I had one when I was first on uh, my early years. I had one of these. Exact same one too. Could use a wash, but it's still pretty nice. I don't plan to use it anymore. So it's collection days are over. I absolutely love that can. And here I have a the matching one, the green one, which is also hasn't been collected only very few times. As you can tell, it's still very nice shape. I didn't put the caps on because they were stacked away. So right now the caps are somewhere somewhere in one of these cans. But this one is very nice. I actually uh, saw this a couple times. I finally decided to grab it when I got the chance. But it's very, very nice. I love these cans together. These two cans together is what I used to have before the rollout. 60 green auto and a 60 black with the exact barcode like this, OG2 and OB01. So kind of cool having my old my old cans that I had back in the day, back again in my collection. And I have another one right here too. This one I was actually using a little bit. This one's actually broken with the same one, very nice and shiny too. Same kind of barcode OB01. Auto on the front. No caps, I have them tucked away. This one is broken somewhere. I think it's broken right, yeah, right there. It has a nice gouge or a hole right there. I was using it for a while, not anymore. Give it a wash after the last use, and they just sit stacked away in the back, just sitting there. Every now and then I bring them out, admire them. We got a rooter. This one was Eric's rooter when he lived in LA. Give it to me when he moved out. So in a way, it's special. Um, pretty dirt, dusty in the lid. It was full of water before I, before I brought it out. Very fun. Those are really, really interesting cans. Just the way that they're shaped. But I'm happy to have one. Because I always, I always saw them growing up. Uh, it's still in very nice shape. No cracks at all. I don't believe it was ever used before before Eric used it for his collections. So it was pretty much brand new when he got it. Uh, I'm going to go to my 30s. Here we got a, a BFI Roto Brown. I got this in Alhambra when they had the rollout. I'm not sure why this brown can was in Alhambra because their color codes is, uh, I believe it's green for, was back then was green for trash. So it was a pretty oddball can to see there. I'm using it for recycle or bottles. Really nice can, just it is really, really big from the sun. But who cares? It's pretty rare to see one of these. And I got a blue one too. This one was from La Crescenta. Somebody was throwing it away at a cleanup, and I took it. Same same style condition, the lid all baked from the sun. Full of bottles as well. Very nice cans too, I really like these. These are my only Rotos I have in my collection. I had 90 gallon of BFI Rotos too, but I got, got rid of them. I didn't need them anymore. So, together. Only missing the black ones out the full the full lacrosenta set out, which is black for green waste, blue recycle, and brown for trash. One day I'll get all full set. And then right here we got a Rubbermaid manual bin. It's old. From Home Depot. Full of bottles as well. Cool cat to have around. It was here my whole childhood. I got a really rare LA can. It's a uh, 30 gallon gray. This is not really black, it's gray. SSI Schaefer. Super rare. I've, only, I've never seen these around, only a couple times. Uh, 
could use some work right here moving this paint right here but it's super rare to have one of these i actually found this why in a pile of bulky when i was collecting some bulky items see right there ssi schaefer full of bottles as well it is a 1991 very happy with this can i mean it could use some work but just having one is very it's rare so i'm happy to have it i got a green one this one was clear coated so it's really shiny thanks to the twins and eli for this one it's 1991 as well so i got a full set of shapers now as you can see sgo sbo and very rare now i'm not planning to use these cans in, at all only for bottles and cans probably but nothing not, not sitting in the mouth at the trucks pickup because they're pretty rare so there they are together some of the rarest la cans are these in my opinion Especially the gray ones. And then right here we got a uh, 30 uh, black auto from Gilbert as well, thanks to him. This one actually has a property of LA on the lid. Uh, this one doesn't. Put some sticker on here from over here. Nothing special. It's time nowhere else to put it. They didn't want to throw it away either. It was still nice. Full of cans. I think this one actually is. No, it's not broken at all, actually. OB has a barcode still intact, too. I believe this is a 93. I'm not too sure on the year. Got the green one to match it as well. Barcode still intact. Actually, I found this in the construction site. It was laying in the corner abandoned pretty much. So I just scooped it up. Had a sticker at some point. Somewhat clean. So they're a matching set. As you can see. OG. OB. And then right here I have a uh, 30 black. Super nice shape too. It's literally in perfect condition. There's no cracks anywhere. The logos on smear. It's a little dirty, but sitting in storage for so long, you can tell it's been stacked away too. Uh, it's actually my nicest 30 gallon uh, classic I have. One of my personal favorites as well because of that reason. Uh, very happy with this find actually. It's missing a, actually missing a, a cap right here. Uh, that's how it came when I got it. I never got around to finding a new cap for it. And here we got the the, the matching matching uh, green one to go with it the barcodes o3g o3b the green one actually has right uh, has the writing on the lid these ones didn't come with it i believe new york trippings only still intact there's a spider right there it has a crack on the back but it's pretty big too but I'm not using these cans anymore, so it won't grow up, grow anymore. It won't get bigger. Still happy to have these because they're both in pretty nice shape. The logos are nice on this one too. So who cares? Happy with them. They're mine. Uh, next right here, I got some manual bins. This is a BFI uh, brew from Altadena. That's a dent right there from being stored away. But the logo's on smear on it. It has no cracks. Actually, really nice can. Even though the top is sun baked a little bit around the rim of it. But I like that can a lot. I got a green one here. I believe they only had uh, these two yard waste and recycle. Because I believe trash was automated. Could be wrong. But that's what I, I remember hearing. Yard waste. And these both are brutes. Another one right here. Someone stacked away as you can tell. Has a line around it. Has holes in the bottom from being dragged around. This one doesn't. And neither does that one. 
So my three BA5 brews. I had more, but I got rid of them. Give them away. And then here we got a, a Pico Rivera, green waste only, uh, triple R. Uh, pretty nice shape. Has no cracks anywhere. The logo still intact too. Got this from one of the NASA cleanups in Pico Rivera. Someone was throwing it away. So I scooped it up. Really nice can. The color of it, the yellow, is just, uh, it stands out next to the other cans. And here we got a Triple R from BFI, from Altadena as well. I believe they gave, they gave out both Brutes and Triple R's. I'm not sure which is older than the other. I'm not sure which one's the older, older one, newer one. But it's still a nice shape. I mean, the logo's still there. It has some cracks, but some holes in the bottom. I just use these cans for uh, mostly for green waste, you know, picking up some cutting trees and stuff. Fill them up from some green waste. That's about it. And then right here we got a, uh, a Calmet Services Triple R from, I believe this was also Pico Rivera. Uh, a couple holes in the bottom. Has a nice crack right there. Uh, yeah, those are uh, my Nino bins. Six of them. Um, next is my crates. Got a nice chunk of crates. And there's a chicken again. I'm trying to work out, I think, on the weight machine. Uh, anyways, uh, mostly rare egg ones, LA City crates. This one right here is actually pretty rare. I've never seen one of these before. It's a label or recycle for the crates. I actually had never seen this logo before till I got this crate. At first, from far when I saw this crate abandoned, I thought this was a sticker from some sort of packaging or something. I got a little closer to it, realized it was a city city sticker. Uh, it's my only crate that has that logo on it or a sticker on it. If you notice, uh, these have different uh, handles on the side. They're both rare eggs. Uh, as you can see, things are older. And these say city sand. Well, this one says city. Got a nice chunk of crates from LA. Uh, old rare eggs. I believe this one came on my house from the old rollout. Survived all these years. Grew up with it. Very clean. Here's an A1 crate from LA. This is actually Eric's crate. But it's here for right now. It could use some work. It's still pretty rare. Pretty rare crate to have around. I'll get around to fixing it up later on. But super rare crate to have around. Here's some BFI tubs. Rare ones. These are the older ones. I'm not sure how, how these how these ones were. They're all really nice. Some of the logos are different too. This one's a bigger logo. Recycle now. And this one. Very clean crates. Has a logo on the side for some reason. I'm not sure why that is. Only one, only one, only one that has it like that in my collection, at least. That's the kind of oddball one. This one I use in my house for recycle, so for my household, use it as a recycle box. When it's full, I go out to the back and dump it into the bigger can. So it's dirty, you know, sticky from stuff. Try to wash my recyclables, but you know, still gets pretty dirty. Wait, another one, BFI. Pretty nice logos on most of these. This one has the old, the bigger logo. The bigger BFI logo. Same kind of rarig, the rarigs. I got a rest Western Waste crate. It's still pretty nice. It has a crack right there, but I like it. It's cool having something orange in the collection. And here I got a uh, Consolidated Services crate. Uh, I think it was used as a dog house at one point because I mean, it got cut off, cut out right here, a big chunk of it. I mean, I tried taping it back together, you know, gluing it back together, as you can tell. No luck. So, I mean, just having it in general is still pretty cool. So, despite that big old hole on the side, I like it. 
Uh, here's a WMX crate. I'm not sure where this is from. It's for induced paper, glass, cans, and plastic. It's a really nice bright green. It's broken though. It was in a pile of illegal dumps. That's where I found it. It's a rare egg. I think that's my only uh, WM uh, X thing in my collection. Uh, here we have a uh, Republic Services uh, newspaper and magazine. Uh, Korea, I think this is an A1. It's from Ve from Vegas. There's a they have, I think there's a set of these. I think it's uh, red and black and white. I'm not too sure on the colors, but I have the white one only. It's broken right here. And they could use a wash. But it was very odd seeing that in LA. But I grabbed it up. And here we got a Davis waste removal. The logo kind of wearing this one, you can tell it's kind of like I don't know if that was on purpose or what, but I think this is also an A1 crate. Uh, I'm not too good with crates, as I am with the bigger carts. Uh, yeah, A1 plastics. I was at a cleanup from where? I don't know why it was here in LA, but it's a crack right there. Uh, here we got this weird crate too. I'm not sure what company this is from. CV Disposal has a nice, I think that's a Maxon or an FF Gomez uh, WX of some sort. Never heard of this company before? Or seen these black crates anywhere? If anybody knows where this is from, let me know. I'm kind of curious. It has a couple cracks right there. It's pretty clean in general. I like it because of the logo. It's a pretty cool logo to have on a, on a, on a crate. And right here, I got a City of Rosemead uh, tub as well. I think this is a... Uh, I'm not even sure who makes this. Uh, Tulip Corp. I don't know if that's the maker of this. It's broken. But... They break recycling services, I believe this is consolidated disposal. Yeah. Crack right there, but it's still cool to have one of these, you know. You know, you got a city of Pasadena uh, crate as well. Pasadena, California. It's a rare. It's cracked pretty pretty nice right here. But, but uh, you know, it's, I like my crates. So cracked or not, I'll keep it. And right here, I got another LA crate. This one's actually, this one's actually pretty, pretty much brand new. Keep it in my room for storing things. But it's almost brand new. It wasn't a storage unit for like decades. So I don't think it was ever really used. Or if it was every very few times. Keep it in my room. Just keep it nice. I really like it. So there it is right there. It's one of the regular, regular standard rare tubs. Nothing special, but you know, since it's almost brand new. You know, for this day and age, keep it in my room. Oh, and right here I got two of these uh, WM baskets for recycling. This one is in my room, for my own recyclables in my room. This one I'm not sure, is, I think I keep it outside. But they're made by uh, Rary. Kind of cool to have them. I had more, but I gave them away. So I only got two left. So they're nice to have, you know, to use in my room because they fit anywhere. Keep it in the corner of my room for recyclables. And it does a job. And uh, right here, I got my uh, weekly cans I use for uh, every week. I got another, another green auto right here. Very nice condition too. No cracks anywhere in the body. Uh, it's broken on the lid though, right here. And right there is breaking too. It's getting bigger. Full of yard waste. But other than that, it's really nice. And it's a uh, OG2. You got another 90 uh, black, I mean 90 blue, sorry, uh, EG uh, 2019. One of the first ones that they had. Full of recycle. I use it every week, so it gets pretty pretty much abused. Nothing too special, just a rare egg. So they got a 2018. Uh, Rare again B, 90 gallons, 2018. Uh, use it for trash every week, as you can see. One of the last MBs, I think in 2019 was the last year they gave out MB in LA. 
But the black ones are pretty, you don't want to see it too often, the black 90 NBs. So, it gets used every week. Got an FA from 2003. Still very nice, has all the writing on the lid. Has a sticker on the inside. It's pretty dirty because I use it for greenways. It's 03. Barco still intact, really nice. It was actually Luis's can, I gave it to him. When he moved out, so I got it back. I'm gonna keep it, keep it because of that reason. It was made in November of 2003. And it's still pretty nice for almost 20 years old. No cracks anywhere yet. I don't use it too much. My frontline green can is at 60 green auto. So this is like an extra one. And so is this one, EG from, I believe it's 2020. Yep, 2020. Green one. Nothing too special, just an just EG. Yeah, I don't really care about them too much. I mean, I'll use them up. So these are my weekly cans I use for setting out on Tuesdays. A while, most of those cans back here just sit in the back, part of my collection. One last look at these crates and cans right here. Oh, and one more thing right here. I have a chicken again. Here we have a, a, a stack of uh, green shafers. I actually don't want these anymore. So if anybody wants them, they're pickup only. Uh, this is actually a dark green one. It's pretty rare. Wheels are in there and the cap too. All the writing's still intact. The logos are still intact, but they're stacked up. So I left it like that. And this is a one-line one. It's also still, it's still in nice shape. So if anybody wants these, pick up only in that lay. Let me know. They're up for grabs. And the last cans in my collection that I did not pull out because they're pretty much stored away are these two auto wheelies. Black and the green, the full set. Really nice shape. They're both in really perfect condition. No cracks on either one. So they're here in the, in the shed with all the tools. I believe these are 91s or 93s. I'm not too sure on the years. I used to know, but I forgot. Uh, this is where they go. I'm not tarping this out because they're all on over there. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much my collection as of uh, December 2022. Uh, downsized quite a bit. I had a lot of cans back then, like toters. I had uh, a lot of zarns, plasto pans, wheelies. But you know, I give them away. They didn't really need them anymore. So this is what I have now. If I get more cans, I'll make another update soon. If not, then this is it. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Long video. I know I apologize, but it was a big collection. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys later.